two, one. Hello there, guys and girls. We are back with game number two of Beta Flash Tournament number I fourteen. I thought we are back with me, but no. Apparently, we are back <laughs> with you. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's uh, Russian Prince, me, uh, Bloody oh, Fox it's, here, and it's Unicorn just, Attack. It's Indeed. just me and Beta Flash Tournament number fourteen. Okay, get it straight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you think about it. Russian <laughs> Prince have the whole zoo here. He have unicorn and fox. <laughs> oh, like now, oh man. Uh, so Gifu Crossing. This map was uh, my suggestion because for some reason I love this uh, remake of Ubayo and Sen. On Ubayo and Sen, I think they did a bad job uh, making this Dodgers easily campable uh, near Red Line. And on Gifu, Gifu Crossing, they kind of. Um, mm, Fixed that mistake. So camping dodges now nearly impossible. And we still have this nice reach over the middle, which allows for some melee use and for some line use if you use it smartly. So these maps allow very different kinds uh, uh, of playstyles. We will see what our players choose. <coughs> and I completely unrelated note can you like you see there are borders for every deployment zone right uh yeah now the thing is what's that white line for uh for uh juju. the opponent of khan yeah juju what's that uh for? take a look uh, on the right of shrine and you will understand What was that line? Oh, I will see it later. I don't want to oh, spoil oh it yeah, on the stream. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the hell? What? Why doesn't... Uh, you're <laughs> getting sleepy. Uh, yesterday, yeah. we <laughs> kind of tried to cast uh, Holy Grail Wars tournament till the very late. But game started, so... I'm going to go over Khan Asperuk's uh, build now. He's got on his left flank Red Bear Infantry, US Marines, Red Bear Infantry... Royal Marines. Uh, wait, what's my camera doing? Spear Levy. And then some uh, Yariki rank 6, Yariki rank 6, Yariki rank 6, Yariki rank 6. Rank 5. Rank 5, yeah. And Vanilla Revolver Cavalry. Yep. Okay, now, for Juju, we have. Uh, he kind of used much more wider formation. He have United States Marines. Tyrmon Vux, uh, man, my French is awful. So he have Blackbeard's 150 range near them, Vermilion Bird Force with two upgrades, uh, White Bear with two upgrades, Black Tortoise Force Vanilla, and another Black Tortoise Force Vanilla. Th these two Black Tortoise Forces staying behind. Oh, nice volley! These Red Bears getting volley from a forest to these White Bears, but now they are getting shot at uh, from two sides by two units. But now United States Marines got into fight. But this One is not good. Black yeah. coming into the fight. Yeah, that's and that's it's not good for Khan Asper. Yeah, not a cost-effective exchange. Now for cavalry of Juju, he have vanilla revolver cavalry, uh, and yet again Shogunate Guard cavalry level two and uh, three Yariki level seven. So he basically have two builds that he switch uh, around. And they basically the same in all games. And, well, mm, let's see. I should say United States Marines of Hanas Paruch losing the fight against this Black Bear Infantry with 150 range. Because these Red Bears of Hanas Paruch, they should have moved in long ago. And now this Yariki charging from the middle. What? Why? Actually, interesting. Look. Yeah, he's gonna stop uh, the cav of uh, Juju. Yeah, uh, and now, but now revolver cavalry of Juju coming in, and it's, I don't know, not a perfect uh, engagement from Juju. Hanas Paruk sending his cavalry one by one, and Juju clearly not uh, uh, using his revolver cavalry. And at the other flank, look at this. Uh, Miss Micron, his Yugi Ketai, which is why we saw that uh, white line. 
Hannas hmm, Palung yeah. eats a volley from this United States Marines at his Yugi Ketai. Uh, and we will come to that later because a big cavalry fight going near the shrine. Uh, uh, Juju manages to pull through his Yariki to this United States Marines. But overall his cavalry going to be destroyed. He still have his revolver cavalry alive. Oh, he has one more Yariki. Yeah, Full coming. Strength. But look at this. Revolver cavalry of Han... Uh, have 45 men left and I think uh, I don't know because hmm. thing is that uh, Khan has few men left in his units on that flank uh, so, so I think yeah I think Jojo will be able to pull th through in on that uh, flank but you, you see what if Khan Asparuch uh, oh getting shot he, on his general I don't know if his uh, if his general and revolver cavalry survives, and Hasparuch, uh, Han Hasparuch pulls back, uh, he in decent spot, I, I believe. Uh, but he got charged. By yeah, and he's key. still misusing his Royal Marines, not turning them. Mm, yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't. Think I think this is yet. a win for Jojo. Not yet. The spear level. And at the beginning, what I was trying to say about this Yugi Ketai, well, mm. I think Hanas Paruch uh, failed his own uh, trap. He moved his cavalry too obviously. And uh, I mean, Juju could have uh, get his cavalry too close and get shot by this Yugi Ketai, but seeing that uh, Hanas Paruch have uphill advantage, and cavalry of the same strength. He decided not to go there, so this Yugi Kitai didn't work. So, yeah, yeah. He must confirm, right? Commit. Uh, concede. But uh, yeah. for some reason, people don't like it. So it's 1-1. One, <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> uh, and last stand in the forest for yeah. Kamas Peru. Complete... Um, yeah. A waste uh, of coke Kitai. on this Yuki Kitai. Yeah. And honestly, if you put something as a trap, why would you uh, scare your opponent away from the trap? Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, and, like, I just realized what this... Not just realized, but realized earlier what a stupid mistake I did. <laughs> <laughs> With a white... Uh, yes. Light. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, so never cute. seen that before. Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and we're going to see one more game. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why? I want to go to bed. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> it would be soon. It would be soon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, we have uh, Chevalier Juju deploying uh, 1,200 men and Hanas Paruk deploying Almost the same amount, 50 men difference. But in losses, it's uh, 300 men difference, uh, 350. So Juju was much more cost effective. And his attack on the left flank of uh, Han Asparuch was just better prepared overall. Yeah. Just look at that black bear. <laughs> yep. Han Asparuch should have just pulled back. Uh, he clearly had a numerical disadvantage. And yet again, that red bears behind shrine, they were in, in such an awkward position. They were looking at the shrine. What's the point? Uh, I don't understand. Now, Shogunot Guard Cavalry of Juju were nicely catched by Hanas Paruch and destroyed. And overall, only one cavalry unit of Juju did well enough to pay for itself. Even Revolver Cavalry didn't do that good. But line made up for it. Yeah, and the fact that Yugeki Tai didn't do anything for yeah. Khan. <laughs> Just imagine it could have been one more spear levy and a decent line unit. Yeah. I mean, you should be absolutely sure. Uh, well, the thing he get with this Yugeki Tai, he made sure he will get a shrine. But still he didn't get a cavalry from that and he kind of put himself in a corner Hanas Paruch I mean allowing yeah. a wider force of uh, Juju flank uh, around 
Well, we will see how these guys will compete each other on Rivertown. We will see. Yep. Well, see you funny. guys. I'm yeah. stopping this recording for me.